Lighting is a crucial element when shooting photo or video, and knowing how to choose the best light source for a given scenario is definitely a must. Today I'm going to talk a bit more about the differences between panel lights and cob lights, and why panel lights are in many cases more convenient. So first, let's talk about the differences between a panel light and a cob light. The cob in cob light stands for chip on board, which essentially means an array of tiny LEDs packed together to form a larger light chip. A much brighter light source can be made into a smaller package, which then in turn makes these lights fantastic for photography and videography. A panel light, however, is formed using a panel of SMD LEDs, creating a large area of light with the flexibility to manipulate each LED as you wish. As a general rule of thumb, cob lights are brighter than panel lights, outputting 80 or more lumens per watt. Panel lights on the other hand typically output around 50 to 100 lumens per watt. However, just a reference, whenever I use any of my cob lights as a key light, it's very rare that I exceed 50% of their total brightness. So please do not let that deter you from using panel lights in general. So where should you use a panel light? Well, panel lights are incredibly useful for effects lighting because of the huge range of customization that you get with the light that they create. RGB panel lights can give you just about any color you can dream of, meaning that you can really dial in the tone of your scene. They're also a lot thinner and lighter than cob lights, which makes them extremely useful in tight shooting spaces or when you want to travel a little bit lighter. Unlike cob lights, panel lights can be manipulated in just about every way. So if you're trying to emulate the lighting that's given off by a police car or a siren or even lightning from a bedroom window, for example, you can normally get pretty close using a panel light. The guys at Pixel recently set me up one of their P80 panel lights, and I think it's a great example for what these lights can offer. The P80 has 542 individual LEDs, 190 for warm white light, 190 for cold white light, and then a further 162 for RGB. This gives a color temperature ranging from 2,500 Kelvin all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin. And this light also has a CRI rating of around 97, which means that you're getting extremely accurate color representations across the board. There's a two inch LCD display on the back of this light for adjusting the settings using the selection of buttons they provide. In terms of its size, the P80 weighs in at a modest 1.65 kilograms and it has more or less the same dimensions as a 13 inch laptop making it super convenient for traveling. Another great feature of this panel light is that it has native app support for the Pixel LCS app allowing you to adjust and control the lights parameters from your smartphone. Here you can adjust the brightness, the color temperature, the RGB color settings and you can even select one of the effects presets for stylized lighting. The color of this light can be adjusted in a few different ways. In the RGBW menu, you have a lot of options for using a color field or individual RGBW sliders to tune in the color you want. You can also go to the HSI menu and adjust the hue from there. There's also a really cool feature which allows you to capture a color from your surrounding environment using your phone's camera. So how do you know what kind of light to use in what scenario? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. For things that require uniform lighting conditions at a specific color temperature, then a cob light is best suited, since they can provide an even spread of light at the same light intensity, and further diffusion boxes can be used to tailor lighting conditions to your needs. If you're in a tight space, however, then of course a panel light can be used in the same way, although an extra diffusion layer is normally required to make the lighting more uniform across the board, and of course to provide a more soft light. Um, panel lights really come into their element when you need anything else with lighting, I'd say, be it creating a stylized color scene, creating a light source for a given effect, or even to create more light in a specific area of the scene with greater control. Overall, I'd say that the Pixel P80 panel light would be a great addition to anyone's lighting kit, and it can definitely be used as a key light or an accent light in any given scenario if you want to sort of save on space and also have something that's really portable. So yeah, anyway, I really hope that this video has been useful, entertaining, or interesting to you, and if it has, then please subscribe to the channel because I do make a lot of videos surrounding video creation. So if that's your thing, then this channel will definitely be for you. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I shall see you in the next one.